All right. Hey everybody, I'm gonna give a quick overview of one of my favorite physics subjects, um, the observer effect. And the way that I like to understand this uh, is using what is called a double slit interference experiment. So basically in this experiment, you have a light source here, um, which goes to a screen where you have little tiny slits. I blew them up a little bit so that you could see them. And so half of the light goes through here, half of the light goes through here, and then ultimately it hits the screen where you get bands of dark and bright spots. So I'm gonna draw it like a rainbow to kind of indicate uh, those bands of dark and light. And the reason why that happens is because the light acts as a wave and it interferes uh, these two waves, when they recombine, they interfere with each other. In the dark spots, they cancel out. So you have the wave like this going with the wave like this. So you get a dark spot. And then in the bright spots, that means that they add. So the waves combine, so you get a bright spot. But the tricky thing, and this is where it gets really weird, is when you add detectors, I'm just gonna do that, at each of the slits. So now, basically what you're doing is you're asking, okay, I know that light is made out of particles called photons, so which slit are the photons going through at a given time? Because, you know, that should be something that we should be able to figure out. If you can uh, reduce the intensity of the light so that you only have one photon traveling at a time, these detectors should be able to tell you, okay, the photon went through here or the photon went through here. What you would expect, well, I'll let you think about that for a sec. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> cool, so you'd probably expect that half of the time the photons would go through this one and half the time the photons would go through that one, right? Probability, no problem. But that's not at all what happens. Dun, dun, dun! Okay, so it's really crazy actually because as soon as you put detectors here and try and measure where the photon is going, that disappears. Well, not your screen. But the interference pattern disappears. What? And you just get a regular spot of light in the middle. What the, what? That's so crazy. If you remove the detectors, you get the interference pattern again. But as soon as you add the detectors back, the light is no longer acting like a wave, it's acting like a particle, basically. And what's super weird is that you can't know where the photon is going. What the detectors show you is that they all either go through this one and you get a spot, or they all either go through that one and you get a spot. But the crucial point is that when you have no detectors, you have an interference pattern. When you have detectors, you get a bright spot. <laughs> crazy, right? It's almost like the light knows that we're watching it. So that is the observer effect. Um, I didn't do it total justice here. There's a lot of different types of experiments that show this same effect. Basically, when us as experimenters look and ask what is going on at the quantum level, the atomic level, um, when we ask those questions and actually try to measure them, all of a sudden, the fact that we are looking at it changes the outcome. So it's almost like we are coupled with the experiment and you can never remove us from the experiment. So that's a really crazy cool phenomenon that's like totally wild and wacky. Let me know if you have any questions about this. I'm happy to do my best to answer them or to point you to more resources or some other cool super fun videos. All right, so I'll leave it there for now. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.